do have an app or a web service that you can only run locally and each time you want to impress your classmates you need to bring your computer? If so, this video is definitely for you because I'm about to show you how to deploy your project so anyone can check it out. Without further ado, let's dive in. This is Render, cloud application hosting for developers. Let's click on get started for free. Here you need to create an account which is a simple step and I've already done this. So I click on the GitHub icon and here we go. You can host a lot of different stuff here. I will create a web service as an example. Choose build and deploy directly from a Git repository. Let's click next. And here we need to specify a repository with a website that we want to deploy. Reza is the one I'm working on. I have a Docker file in my repository which was immediately detected. If you're familiar with Docker, you can complete the deployment process and share a link to your website in the comments. If not, let me explain to you in simple terms what Docker is and show its structure. Docker is a platform for running applications in isolated environments called containers. This code uses a Python image, installs system dependencies, upgrades pip, installs Python dependencies from requirements.txt, copies all the files from the current directory into a container, and sets up a command to run the application. If you are familiar with FastAPI, this command must be recognizable to you. If you don't need to install any system-wide packages, you can alter this file by deleting some commands. By the way, in case you don't know, requirements.txt contains a list of Python libraries used in the project. That's basically it. It will take a couple of minutes to finish the deployment. Now I have my website available by the link. Let's open this. This is a website for piano music generation. Now it has a little to show, but follow my channel to stay updated. Also, a cool feature of the render that you can see some metrics of your website for free. A link to the Git repository of this website in the description. See you in the next video.